Hey y'all, so I'm gonna give you a little update on the Ghana Think Tank. This is a world This is a world premiere. This is a world You guys know that there's this group of folks here, um, part of a I guess it's a project, or I, mean, I guess it's more of a project called the Ghana Think Tank. And I think I explained to you a little bit about what the Ghana Think Tank is trying to be about. They're basically uh, looking at issues that exist here in the United States and kind of flipping the development model. Like often folks go from the United States to other countries and impose solutions on people from that country that often end up creating more complications than solutions, right? Than, than, than they solve, right? So uh, the idea of the Ghana Think Tank is to, you know, look at things that might be happening in the U.S., like neighbors not getting along with each other or, um, or, it's a lot of it has to do with like social issues, like around how we are, um, how we have difficulty with creating senses of community and things like that. So uh, there's a group here. Uh, there are folks from Syria. There are folks from Indonesia, from Morocco. And then there's a really kind of a diverse group of students who are kind of first generation here in the United States in some cases and some not. Uh, uh, there's uh, a group who's kind of first generation from South America or Central America. And um, it's been a really interesting mix, just kind of hearing from all of these voices, uh, a real kind of a range of folks from, uh, you know, college age students. Uh, we're actually going to be working with a group of high school students later in the week, and I'm going to try to take you guys on that as well. Um, yeah, so that's all cool. Um, yesterday was really challenging. Some of you may have already seen the clips that I included from the tour. It was an exhausting day. You know, you know, I get up in the morning and you know basically mop the floors uh, so that the you know floors are nice and clean for for the day and. Then I, you know, wash up a little bit and then put out breakfast, which is vegan, obviously. Um, another thing that I've been doing is just making sure that there's always lots of delicious and healthy vegan snacks. We go through a lot of hummus and carrots and pita, uh, things like that. So, guys, you may not know it, but yesterday was my birthday. It was my birthday, y'all. And those who've been following carefully enough know exactly how old I am. And if you don't know how old I am, you better get busy and watch some of my old videos. Um, so, yeah. Um, and it was really cool because I got a vegan cake and then this vegan other thing that they found in Hamtramck. And if you don't know Hamtramck, it is probably, I think there's like, Oh, I can't even say. There's a number of languages. I think somebody said like 130 different languages are spoken, but I don't even know if there are 130 languages, so I don't want to lie to y'all. But there, Hamtramck is like a little United Nations here in, in, in Detroit where there are people from all over, um, all over the world in this tiny little city that is contained within the city of Detroit. So it's a city inside of a city, and there are two of those in Detroit. That's how big Detroit is. So gonna sneeze, gonna sneeze, gonna sneeze, no, didn't sneeze, anyway, so, um, they, uh, they, uh, went and found some place that had a vegan thing, and they brought it to me, and then came back to the house and sang to me for my birthday, and they sang happy birthday, I got seven different versions of happy birthday, there was a version Obviously, traditional happy birthday. They did a version of it in Arabic. They did a completely different version of ha uh, uh, happy birthday from Indonesia. They did Las Mañanitas from Mexico. Uh, what else? There was a version sung in French. Uh, what else? There was a version sung in Serbian. And then we did, you know, the, you know, Stevie Wonder. So seven versions of happy birthday. I cannot think of a more kind of, for me, a better uh, way to kind of mark what this whole alt space project means to me. It's kind of something that I dreamed of people being able to come together from all different spaces and be in this, um, and be in this, you know, safe, vegan, uh, vegan uh, 
space and be able to, you know, come together in ways that would just not be possible if people were staying, say, in a hotel and had a choice to just go back to their room or what have you. So it really does, in some ways, force people together. But there's no, you know, it's so easy because everybody is really loving being together in the space. So that's that. I'm going to do this really quick so you guys know I've been having some trouble with, uh, you know, the sound, linking up the sound. And so I hope that this, all the sound here links up. Anyway, so yeah, people, it's it's like everybody wants to be together. In fact, everybody's not at Alt Space. Half of the group is at um, Alt Space. The Williams students actually are at Alt Space. And then there's another, um, uh, some folks that I know at a place called Hush House. And, you know, I'll likely be doing a video about Hush House. I'll be doing videos about all these things eventually. But Another group is staying at a place called Hush House, which is a very similar project to Alt Space. So, in case you think that Alt Space is the only project of its kind, uh, it's the only vegan one. It's the only vegan one, but there are um, solidi solidarity houses um, kind of all around uh, the city. In fact, if you were paying attention, you know that um, Myrtle Curtis from Beat 'em Freedom, who is the woman who spoke at the end of the video that I posted yesterday or today or yesterday um it's the one that she was featured in and she talked about a project on manistique that's very similar to to what's happening at alt space there's another one um uh uh in the south uh on the sort of no on the south on the on the on the south southeast southeast kind of detroit in that area of that's been started by Youssef Shakur, and I'm not sure what he calls that project, but uh, their motto is bringing the neighbor back to the hood. Anyway, so these these projects are happening all over Detroit, and so I was really excited to have um, Alt Space uh, kicking off, and that you know all of you are part of that. So I hope that that's something that you uh, are digging. Really going just to talk a little bit about the, you know to tap into what's going on with veganism and the YouTube community. I'm noticing that there are more people that are posting videos and they're at least talking about restorative justice, which I didn't make up, y'all. I mean, I think some people thought that I was just being, you know, uh, what is that called when you're being like, uh, when I'm being, that I was just being um, contrary. I wasn't just being contrary when I talk it because I happen to have a background in restorative justice. I'm a peacemaker, studied with um, uh, 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 folks from a Navajo tribe that actually came out from, you know, the Southwest, Western United States to teach peacemaking to a group of people from my community in Red Hook. And I was lucky enough to be able to do that training and to be a practicing peacemaker for about five years. So. I'm just letting you guys know that I didn't make it up. And so the fact that there are more people who are having this conversation about restorative justice, not that what anybody has chosen to do is wrong because that's the only option that they felt was available. But the fact that we might think about how we could develop more restorative appro approaches to justice in the vegan community because, you know, I'm hoping that we're about nonviolence and I'm hoping that we're about like not exploiting people and our our present justice system is is pretty darn exploitative. It's pretty darn exploitative and extractive because it takes people out of communities and puts them into this other machine where they're, you know, paying the folks that are, you know, paying the folks that are owning the prisons, paying lawyers, paying for, you know, just it's, it's taking uh, resources out of communities and putting them into a system that's not working very effectively. It's just not working very effectively. So, I don't know. I hope that you guys are cool with that. Um, other than that, what's up? What's up? I'm going to be going to uh, Brooklyn really soon. And so, I'll be taking you guys with me there. Um, in the meantime, I hope that you keep watching. Thank you. To, again, thank you to all of the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the material. Please do leave, you know, if you have questions, concerns, if you have like, you know, if you don't like my, the way I'm shooting the videos, if you have a problem, if you think that I'm like, somebody told me that I was too intellectual, whatever. If you have any problems, please do tell me. I'm open to your criticism. In fact, I love that engagement with you. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share comment, subscribe. This is Reg oh, signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and dicky rides. I love myself. But they can do it.